Hi everybody, this is Gregor from Personos and today I want to show you the brand new MIDI mode that was introduced with the firmware update for FaderPort 8 and 16. What MIDI mode allows you to do is to map any of the encoders, faders or buttons that you find on your unit to any MIDI value that you want in Studio One or to a fixed set of MIDI CC values which can also be really useful to control analog and external synthesizers and stuff like that. Let's check it out. First, we need to update the firmware on our fader pod 8 or 16 before we can make use of the MIDI mode. All Presonus hardware products are always updated through Universal Control, which you can download from my.presonus.com as soon as you've registered your unit. The installation of Universal Control is very straightforward. Simply run the installation file, read the software agreement carefully, and follow the installation instructions on screen. Once you've installed the latest version of Universal Control, please power on your FaderPod 8 or 16 and you will be prompted to update the firmware. As soon as the firmware update has started, please make sure to not power off your FaderPod while the firmware update is running or you have to start over. Once the update is complete, you will need to power cycle the unit as you can see in the FaderPod 8 display here. For the FaderPod 16, this update actually requires a two-step process, so please repeat the firmware update and power cycle one more time. In Studio One, we just go to the setup page, switch to the external devices, and now we see that fader port 8 is sending and receiving from FP port 1. Now this is the fader port, pardon the pun, that you're already used to. Um, and now since the update, there's a second port available to us, and we need to add that manually with a new keyboard so that we can activate the MIDI mode functionality in the software. The ports we need to assign here are called FP MIDI mode in macOS and FP port 2 in Windows. Aside from that, the procedure is exactly the same for Windows and Mac. One thing that can happen on macOS though is that you don't see the new MIDI port right away after updating the firmware. To fix this, you need to start the Audio MIDI Setup AMS. Then go to Window Show MIDI Studio, delete the existing fader port entry as shown, and then power cycle what's more. So now that the routing is taken care of, that's pretty much it. Simply press the two shift buttons on your fader port 8 or 16 as shown and you're in MIDI mode. To go out of MIDI mode, simply press the same buttons again and you'll go back to your previous standard operation mode, be it Studio One Native, MCU, Huey or otherwise. From here, we basically have two options. We can either work with the pre-assigned MIDI CC values or we can remap these parameters we have available on the fader port to anything else in our DAW via MIDI Learn. To do this in Studio One, simply open up the console, then go to the external devices section on the left, double click your fader port MIDI mode, and then click MIDI Learn. Now you simply touch the faders, encoders, and buttons you want to assign, and then you end MIDI Learn. From now on, any fader, encoder, or button that you MIDI learned here can be remapped to literally anything else inside of Studio One as long as it's automatable using the controlling feature. One of the great advantages of MIDI mode in FaderPort is that you can now take one half of your FaderPort to control one certain plugin and then the other half to control another one and then yet another one and it gives you the kind of simultaneous control that you didn't have on the FaderPort before. Thank you for watching.